Life can flip in a matter of seconds. Things can change. The way things are going right now is not always the way they will go. You see, I've seen a lot of people laughing at people struggling. Maybe because they are hustling in the street. Now they kind of like laugh at them because they think short-mindedly. They think that's how those people will remain. Uh, you say in bold, the Jamaican athlete, the sprinter. I was reading in a reliable source. They said he was paid something, uh, I think it's a hundred million. Or, I don't know really, but it's, it's huge money just for running 115 seconds. But now he tells the people that me getting that kind of money or so or that kind of recognition don't think it's just those 115 seconds that you have seen there it has been hard work years of struggles years of persistence so life can flip in a matter of seconds things can change yes i believe in uncertainty that we can arrogantly say I will make it what what but life is life and in life anything can happen anything can happen but if you are pushing your goals giving in your best working hard and smart then you have chances of making it or you have chances of making a change within your life that is why we are saying life can flip in a matter of seconds so this video i did it for all my hustlers people that are selling in the street or just anyone who's struggling with something this video i did it for people that are being constantly criticized by their parents by their families because of them believing in something I can tell you chasing a dream is not something easy standing for what you truly believe in is not something easy that's why it's only a few that really make it out and now when you see the results when you see people that are making it out people that are not living an average life then you think that maybe it's luck yes um, the grace of God is also there but it's years of persistency and hard work life can flip anytime life can flip so keep pushing keep hustling i know of people that were laughed at people that were rejected people that were being tamed and shamed but as we speak right now it's, it's a change you know one thing about life that we need to know there is no smooth way there is no smooth way. What do I mean by that? There is no smooth way. You have to understand that not everyone will like you in life. Not everyone will like you. The process is not going to be easy. Not everyone will be your ally. But once you make it, then the majority will come. So obviously people will talk of you. People will say that you are crazy. People will say that uh, maybe you have been witched. Or you have some mental problems, you are not okay here. People can tell you that after some times they will see you uh, messed up, something like that. People can say anything and you don't, and you can't control that. All you have to do is keep pushing. And yes, not everyone has to like you. You have to, have it. we have to have a mindset abundance you don't have to fear losing so much like you know sometimes we fear rejections and uh, humiliation so much that we don't even try maybe to go and look for a job or maybe to, to approach people but you know it's that is the rule of life not everyone has to like you and it will never be like that you have to be shamed you have to be rejected that's how you get to be brave yeah, so that's why you can have 10 companies reject you or 10 whatsoever reject you there are still 10 more to approach you so 
I know that not everybody will like this video, something like that. I know. So, people can can reject you, can not. But there are still more other people that can can like your things. That's why that's the mindset to grow. That's the mindset that can give you the confidence to approach people. So, yeah, life can flip. Hang on there. Let's keep hustling. Let's keep pushing. This video is for all my hustlers out there. I salute you. We are shamed. We are seen as mad. But life can flip anytime. And those people that shamed you, they are the ones that are going to come to you, saying, telling their story how they met you and how they got to know of you and all those sort of things. So, I say Conrad speaking here, coming all the way from Namibia, Africa. I'm an aspiring reggae musician, conscious music, African contemporary music. So yeah, if you are watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and uh, buy my book on Amazon in the link. Thank you. Signing out.